come out of this. So there's, there's a lot of magic uh, going on, right? And, and, and uh, a lot of people are literally under w what, you know, what I'm trying to say is that, because this is very, it's very difficult to, to understand this properly. What I'm trying to say is that there are, a lot of what's happening today is in this realm. And it's very difficult for people to understand this, but when you study it, what you find is that, that the people that, a lot of the people involved in mass uh, control are actually heavily involved in this science. And that, that's what you find out uh, when you do the research. Uh, many of the people that are involved in film, many of the people involved in music, many of the people that are uh, involved in uh, newscasting, they know how to manipulate uh, the minds of people. And whether it's done with this type of magic or simply with the power of technology and the higher magic, the result is the same. You get people that are uh, as if they're possessed. And this is why um, it would be indistinguishable. You know, we've got kids that are stabbing children. We've got people that are just shooting people and not knowing why they're doing these things. And this is coming out of a culture that is really, really uh, profoundly disturbed in its essence because no civilization that was healthy would produce the type of games that they're exposing these young children to. No civilization that, that was healthy would produce the type of films where they have films where the, 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 the main character tortures people and chops off their fingers and their hands uh, or, or slowly tortures them to death. They, they, they wouldn't, Muslims would have never come up with these type of uh, ideas because the, their, their culture is not a, it's, it's not a demonic, dark culture. It's become demonic and dark because... Uh, of a lot of madness that's happened in the Muslim world. I mean, there's a lot of demonic, dark things going on, and these people are really... Uh, Dostoevsky called his book about the terrorists the, the possessed, and in one, um, in one translation it's called the demons. I don't know the Russian word for it, but he certainly understood that there was something demonic involved in this. So that's, you know, this, it's difficult for people to deal with this stuff, but when you actually find out about the characters that were involved in producing a lot of this technology and, and, and you read the history of it, you find that they were really involved in a lot of these things, which is very strange. And when you see the result that these things have on people and the effect uh, that they have on them. So, I mean, I don't know, that Arthur C. Clarke, who said that uh, advanced technology becomes indistinguishable from magic, was involved in magic. He was involved in numerology. Um, it's very strange that they place these satellites at 22,000 feet because those are their numbers, 11, 22, 33. They like multiples of 11 and things like this. So I don't know. I mean, we're all trying to work this thing out, aren't we? But uh, these things are real and jadu, whatever you want to call it, it's real. Uh, and, and, and that's why we, and I'll tell you something just uh, personally. For me, I didn't really give a lot of this credence because I wasn't raised like this. I was raised, I mean, my father was a college professor. Um, I, I certainly wasn't raised with the idea, like magic was something, you know, I thought magic was pulling rabbits out of hats and things like that. When, when I became Muslim and I heard all these things and, you know, I didn't really, whatever, you know, it wasn't really something. But in the last few years, it's become much clearer to me how much this is actually a force working in the world. And, and it makes much more sense to me now why there are so many hadiths and so many protective du'as against this stuff. You know, this is evil. And also, you know, the, these, the, the influences of the demons. Prophet or that they should become present. You know, so the demonic realm is real. And there are people, unfortunately, that are actively involved in attempting to bring that realm into this realm. 
And this is where it gets very strange. So, and they're certainly into numerology. It's a big thing with these people. So he's, he's warning us and saying that this is madhmum. So that's a harmful knowledge. The second